with class four in ME 401 slash 501. We're gonna do two position synthesis with coupler output. Of um, So this is gonna be the same uh, position synthesis that we did for rocker output, but this time we're gonna make it so that the coupler um, is the thing that lands between these two uh, positions. So let's check that out. So similar but different to what we did uh, before is uh, we want to connect these two points and these two points, right? And I'm just double checking how I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, okay. So um, in the same way as we had uh, before here, let's find the plate location where the center of this, the center perpendicular is, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find, we're gonna make a linkage that lands somewhere on this, right? That can go from here to here and from here to here, okay? Um, a similar thing we're going to uh, let's see we'll find this and that from here and oop, almost didn't make it long enough of an arc there to there draw the line there there now it's not where these intersect, right? We're going to try to choose some spot, let's say right to there, right? And maybe we will actually choose the length of the thing, right? We could have chosen down there to there, but that is going to be our O2. And here is where it's going to look like in the second position. All right, and now from here, we can start choosing any of these locations, right? But we wanted to land it somewhere on this line. And so let's gonna, I wanna, like we could even like pick out what the length is by doing this. So we're gonna have some control. It, I don't think we wanna be able to make it a Grashoff thing. Uh, but anyway, we don't actually need to make it a Grashoff. We just need to have this thing be a, a double rocker. Anyway, or I guess triple rocker. So um, if we pick like right here, I made it like two. So right here, that's the four bar mechanism. And so this is going to be O4 right here, right? And here is where the other um, position is going to be. Right there. So you can kind of see this is here to there, right? and sometimes it'll even uh, uh, draw the thing out. Now, it's good to check the grash off of this, but once again, it doesn't necessarily, uh, uh, are we required? Uh, so that just means it goes between here and there. What we need to do now, in order to make sure uh, that this thing, um, I just want to make sure I did something. I, I think, I think perhaps, yeah. Th th this this is kind of in conjunction with this other example, right? So this is a, this is example four, but this is really sort of an, a, a continuation of example four, 
right here where we go uh, um, if we want to make this thing so it can only it, it can go between these two position, positions but we want to make it so that it can only go between those two positions so we want to add we could add a driving dyad that works on this only and we'll make the thing go back and forth uh, so that it lands between there and there so we will continue on with um, full, uh, example five uh, right in here. Right? So that was, yeah. So here, here's how I have that arranged. Uh, I have example five right here where we've done, this is basing off example four, right? So here's the results that we said for example four where we have a four bar linkage right here and here's the second low. Here's the second position of that four-bar linkage. All we have to do now, um, it, and that this is what I've decided was the length of the um, uh, the, the 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 length. Here's the here here's what's going to be in the subassembly. Right, we're going to make a six-bar out of this. Here's where the um, we're going to make a, uh, a line coming through, and this is going to be non-quick return. Because you know we, we could do the quick return aspect thing just like we did in the previous problem example, uh, but we'll make non quick return by drawing a line that goes right through an arc uh, that, that's onto there, and we'll we'll make our free choice uh, somewhere uh, to to be like right there to choose our O2, or actually uh, what did I decide to call it here uh, in in mine? I think I called it an O O6. Yeah, that's and, and that's out of the book. So 06. And that's where um, the ground link uh, is extended over here for this. So there's the 06. And um, I figure out the distance. Once again, I do a uh, bisect uh, these two lines right here. So over here to here and here to here. We bisect this. So right, this distance right there should be our um, crank radius or crank uh, length. Oh, sorry, here halfway. Oops. So right here is when the uh, crank, this new crank, right, this crank for the dyad, dyad driver, and that's where that's where it would be. Actually, most of the time I draw that hidden, don't I? Uh, so let's hide that. Here is where it is when there's an overlap. So it's going to go to right here. This is the, oops, I made that, those lines merge. That wasn't look very good. Okay, so here is the uh, connection right there. Here is the uh, and it would extend. Here's the in the extended uh, version of the thing. So let's take a look at what the results are there. I believe it's the one that's called, there you go. And in the motion study, we can see it rocking back and forth between those two positions. And that is of course is a six bar. All right, so I think I'm done with this. How long is that video turning? It's a little like 10 minutes long. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad.